This is how all three comes in the packaging. This packaging is returnable, uh, and Tesla will pay you for you to return this. So don't damage the box when you open it. In here, you've got the glass front cover. Um, so stick that somewhere safe. And this is our Powerwall 3. Um, so in the bottom, you've got our battery, which this is, this is waterproof up to here. Uh, and then in the top, you've got your inverter and the rest of your communications to go back with your Gateway 3. Um, we'll go through a bit more in detail as we get through the day. But this is what they look like in the box. So here we have the Gateway 3, Gateway 2, which comes with the Powerwall 3. You're going to need one of these when you install any of the Tesla Powerwall 2 or 3. Basically, this thing here is what talks your, to your Powerwall 3, to your switchboard, to get it all compatible. Okay, so we have our Tesla Powerwall 3 in position, installed and commissioned. We also have the Gateway 2 up here, in position, fit off and commissioned. So our Gateway 2 is basically the brains of the system. All the metering is done through here for the customer so he can see on his, his Tesla app all, all of what the system is doing. And in the event of a storm or loss of power, uh, this is the Gateway is the, is the system that will do the talking to the Tesla Powerwall 3. So if we have a series of storm event come through, the gateway is connected to your bomb and it'll go straight into the storm watch and it'll fill it, it'll top up the battery as required if there's no solar system working on the roof due to weather and you'll have a, a fully charged battery ready to go should the grid drop out in a storm. Or if it does drop out, it'll be charged up, good to go. Okay, so here we've got the Tesla Powerwall 3. We have just finished installing it and commissioning it. Uh, in this particular setup, we've got 30.2 kilowatt of panels on the roof, powering this thing. Um, some of the benefits and features of these power walls is this thing is fully submersible up to here. So the battery is in behind here and this thing is completely waterproof. So should we have some sort of event where the water comes up to here, this thing will just keep running, no problems. Up in here is the brains of the system. So this is your taco. This here is talking to our gateway two up here. here you got your ferrites. This is the AC side of the Tesla power wall, and this is the DC side. Um, over on this side, it's got its built-in isolators for the DC side, and you've got a battery switch on this side. Um, you also got your DC uh, AC isolator over on here for the power wall. These come with the battery in the bottom and the inverter at the top. The battery at the bottom is 13 kilowatts of storage. Now, with these systems, you can increase the battery storage by simply just dis turning it off, disconnecting it, pulling the Tesla power wall out 150 mil, and then you can slot expansion packs in the back up to a total of four in, in a row. They so also go up to 20 kilowatts of DC power. Now, how do you get a power wall three? So this customer's house, he had a, he had a 15 year old system in his house that was no good anymore. Um, so this is a very simple one. We ripped the entire system off and replaced it with a power wall. Now, if you have a newer system, a newer solar system on your house and the panels are in good condition, we can simply remove the old inverter and install one of these and back up your entire home. So here we have a Tesla Powerwall 3 that we've just installed for our customer. Um, if you've ever been interested in one or you've been concerned about losing power to your home, then visit our website for more information on these.